Hey everybody, this is Jonathan Pang, trainer and speaker, and welcome to the show where we talk about presentation skills, public speaking, productivity, leadership, and much more. So, in today's episode, we're focusing again on audience interaction when it comes to presenting. And today, we are going to talk about something that is incredibly important, but a lot of people simply don't do. And that is, are you ready? Something super powerful. And that is remembering names. <gasps> yeah, memorizing people's names. Who would have thought that this was something important? Now, for those of you who are able to memorize everybody's names, congratulations. Good for you. <laughs> I am extremely jealous. But to be honest with you, most of us struggle with this. Some of us even struggle with memorizing someone's name that we just met. Have any of you ever found yourself in an event and somebody introduces themselves to you and you say to, you, to them later, I'm sorry, what was your name again? I'm sorry, your name was... Ah, think about how rude that is. Somebody takes a time to introduce themselves and within minutes you forget who they are. Now that's in a casual social environment. You could imagine if it was your job to speak on the stage or present about something, imagine if you were able to memorize every person's name in the room. Have you ever had someone actually memorize your name? You ever met someone that you hadn't seen for so long and they go, John, is that you? And you go, oh, hey man, I'm sorry, I forgot your name, or you're so embarrassed? Yeah, but remember that feeling when you realize that they memorized yours? That's respect, that's impressive, that is awesome. So when it comes to memorizing people's names in your audience, you will command a power unlike no other. And also, you can memorize these names to come back to them for things they might have said to you earlier when you bring up a story, an antidote, or an example. And you could easily call on them later when you have questions, which can be extremely powerful when you want to retain their attention, when you have to have that engagement. So how do we memorize names? Well, it's not going to be easy. But I'll tell you one thing that I do. When it comes to a training or an event where I'm able to manage this, you know, I'm not going to say like 100 people, but I'm going to say like 20 to 30 people. What I will do is I always greet every single person that comes in. I always try to introduce myself to every single person to build that rapport. What I will do is I will ask for their name. And on a piece of paper, I will have a map of every table in the room, exactly how it's set up, and I will write their name next to that table. Now, it doesn't mean that I'm going to memorize every single name right away, but I definitely have a much better chance to if I didn't write it down. And of course, when I want to ask questions or refer back to someone later during my speech or presentation, I have my easy list available for me. And eventually, the more I say these names, I'm going to recognize them. So try building that. Try using a map of some sorts to kind of list their names down as they come in. And I guarantee you, once you call that person's name, they're going to be impressed. They're going to be like, hey, this guy is not only here to just speak and speak and speak. He actually respects my thoughts and my opinions, and he memorized my name because let's face it, ladies and gentlemen, we are all in love with yourselves we all love to hear our own name. I, 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 unfortunately, most of us are that way. We are selfish beings and creatures, but hey, that's the game, okay? So try to memorize some names. Use a list of some sorts. Draw it on a map. I'm sure you'll find it very helpful the next time you're making a presentation. So what about you? How do you memorize names? Do you have a different method? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, if you're looking for a trainer or speaker for your next event, Feel free to give me a message. Give me a like, a comment, or share if you find this useful. And I will speak to you next time.